Greetings traders and welcome back to another episode of the Traders Show. The Traders Show is a podcast focused on talking about the financial markets, technology, business, entrepreneurship, the startup scene, basically people doing great things uh, on their own in their own industries, not necessarily trading. This podcast has been brought to you by Financial by Financial Hub, an academy here at Lovington focused on training and mentoring profitable traders in the financial markets. My name is Antara Antar Aslawi and I'm happy to be in this podcast and I'm joined by my co-hosts and colleagues, Ken and Caleb. I let them introduce themselves. So hi guys, welcome back again to another show. Um, today we're going to talk about a very, very uh, interesting topic, a topic which is dear, I think, to every Kenyan in the uh, forex industry. We're going to give updates on the Kenyan industry. I think we've been in this industry now for around seven, eight years. We started in 2016. Uh, we're heading to 2024. Our eight, seven, eight years clean, we've seen a lot. We've seen the evolution of the industry from no regulations to regulations, um, from no things like copy trading to copy trading coming in, from no schools to multiple schools of teaching people how to trade, from no scammers to a lot of scammers in the industry. From different scammers to different scammers. Yeah, from so there's a lot that has evolved in the Kenyan industry. We're going to share our thoughts. Uh, these are our thoughts, our opinions on what is going on in the industry how we think around it um and we hope you guys will learn a thing or two about what is going on in the industry because i think there is a lot and also is what i think what is going on also shapes what is likely to come so i think we'll also touch on a bit of where we think the industry is evolving towards the repercussions of some things as time progress progresses and how we are going to position yourself or what you can learn from the different things that are happening in the industry the opportunities the risks and those different things so I think Caleb can start us off yeah welcome guys welcome back to the podcast uh my name is Caleb as Kenna said and today we're talking about keep it true and keep it real talk about what is going on in the industry because we believe we are a voice of the industry Um, a lot of you depend on us to guide you in the right way and in doing so we cannot also keep quiet when we see a lot of things that are not being done right um it, it's it's not right yeah we need to do that so that we can shame the scammers it was part of our mantra when we started um and the good thing is over the years personally we've always tried to do things in the right way okay we've always tried to do things in the right way we've never gone scamming way we've never gone um when kenna said we were there before the regulations came we were, we saw the regulations come in we decided to stay on the right side of the law because and we'll talk about it the scams that used to be there a long time are totally different from now and i have a lot on to discuss about the current ones but the ones that were there a long time we used to see a lot of people get scammed in um, now what used to happen long time before the regulations came now cma the capital markets authority of Kenya are the ones in charge of regulating the financial industry in Kenya so whenever any industry comes a new industry comes it needs to be regulated now before regulations there's no law that governs that industry so it's very easy for someone to scam you and if they do you can't take them really to court because there's you, you can take them to court but it might not go far you might not be successful because there's no really law uh, governing the the forex space and what what law has that person broken in a certain country okay because regulations are different in different countries so before that used to happen a lot of people got scammed we had things like what we call vip portal vip portal that one i think they scammed about 1 billion kenya shillings it was a couple where they were taking people's money trying to trade it i think they were from nakuru or somewhere and limuru limuru, limuru yes limuru we know what happened to that one um it's all over the internet i'm not talking about things that we are guessing we've seen one that happened recently some chinese you remember the chinese who came and scammed people we had another one they used to be in town so i won't mention all names but those are what used to happen and it was very hard i remember personally we had a very good friend you remember ken when we were, we were back uh, when we were staying back in thika road when a friend of mine my mom's friend came and told us about she had given money to that trader. Yeah. I don't remember the story clearly, but it was more or less like what we're talking about. Didn't trade well. I that time that was a long time. It was ago. a long time. I think it was 2018, 17 the 18 yeah. 18 there. 
because even after regulations came in August 2017 a lot of scams were still going on people didn't know about it so this person i think the lady was convinced by the guy because the guy used to come with range rovers remember <laughs> lifestyle lifestyle so is times online i kuwa as much yet but till physical you see someone coming with a range rover prado a new car benz they're like no 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 this person must be doing the right thing and doing it big time and you know formal fear of missing out someone has given you an opportunity you're like why should i miss out so you go put some money and atungiza pesa kidogo you're like ah kumbe it's legit now you put all your eggs in that basket and i remember my auntie had a very hard time it was a whole court case i don't even remember how it ended it didn't end by the time we stopped following up it was a lot of back and forth court cases saying we amend the court police here doing this and that but That's what used to happen. We didn't have much control yet then, and that's why CMA came in so that they can help um catch the people who are doing it badly. But fast forward to today, what comes do you see boys in the industry? Uh <coughs> so uh for me I think I'll cause it's a, I feel like it's not really a Kenyan problem, it's an industry problem. It's a financial markets problem. Uh we've seen scams in Wall Street, London, Japan, Tokyo, South Africa. Kenya so uh anywhere there is money mm-hmm. there is you know as you're saying people want quick money you see so anytime there is an opportunity to make money there is still an opportunity for that now smart scammer cuz i believe this guy is always very smart than the person that damning uh so for that smart person to see an opportunity a loophole and now Not the scammer yeah for the scammer now so whenever there is money of course you really have to be careful uh, around how you understand So you said this you, you, there's something you mentioned you said the scammers are also smart so is it the scammers are smart or the people are dumb his or it's ignorance is yeah, taking advantage yeah exactly it's, if someone is taking advantage of your ignorance and making you you know drop millions which you worked really hard for probably your life is savings is ignorance a function of being not smart really no 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 it's just That's not why exactly not i differentiated mm. them so if it's the, ignorance the, the, you don't the, know the other person is pretty more smart to uh, basically outsmarts you on that deal uh basically through again i'm saying greed you know uh people want to get rich quick mm-hmm. uh money is money is you know at the top realm of humanity uh i think everything that is going on in the world right now is majorly driven by money yeah fusi said money is the most important endeavor of humankind exactly so that's if, what you pursue yeah, all yeah, your yeah. life exactly it's the most important endeavor of humankind really That's according to Vusi. And according to you, me I say out of everything that God made, only humans look for money. Only. Why? Because you needed to function in a society. Yeah. So How the society is Animals structured. don't need it to function. But why yeah. would you say it's the most important and Not me. It's Vusi. <laughs> I really want to hear why. It was the most important endeavor of humankind. And you what did you understand from that? just took it as he said it most important i didn't i didn't take time to internalize it but you know if you look at uh in that aspect of capitalism capitalism is all about you know money and we are in that system so the fact that we are in a very capitalistic system everyone is trying to be have higher capital than you you see so it's a man it's man society so even for the scammers they're trying of having higher capital than you just i want more that's the thing Do you want more you're mm. not just not contented exactly people are just like money is just another thing uh, that people really need to be smart around it and uh for me i feel like you now going back to the kenyan industry yeah there are a lot of scams that happened i can't really remember the names but i've had scams of a billion shillings 600 million shillings uh personally i've had some people coming to me telling me i lost 14 million i lost 600,000 uh and when you look at all these deals they have some very much similarities uh looking at the crypto space again i think a lot of people have been, been scammed by uh, uh cryptos it was called bits bit club bit club there was g bitnex or something like that so a lot of money has been lost in the markets uh looking at the biggest loss in financial history by bani madoff a 60 billion dollar scam scamming some of the wealthiest people in america uh so you might be very knowledgeable you have masters you've created companies you know you but still someone comes and still scams you just because you want more money uh, and easy money 
So wanting more money is not bad. Mm. But wanting easy money now is bad. I think uh, from how the system is designed, money doesn't come easy. So anytime you think it comes easy, you really need to watch out for for something. So fast forward to as you're saying and think uh the current industry right now, I think there's so much of so much going on by again young people, the online, the internet is there. So uh it's easier for you now to be duped by people just DMing you, messaging you, uh sending you funny screenshots. Uh so that has really tarnished the name of I feel like the current market environment. Uh there's so much that as we try to you know clean up the industry there's so much that I feel like um as we try to clean I think the guys throwing the dirt are more than us. The guys <laughs> throwing the dirt. What are we doing as we're cleaning the As we're cleaning the streets but the guys <laughs> throwing the papers are more. No, they're not only more, they're louder than you. Exactly. You collect one, they throw five. <laughs> you collect another one, they, they throw, throw ten. More. And they <laughs> bring other people. Thank you. Yeah, so... um, That's what I'd argue, or I'd ask you guys. Like, like you were saying, um, you're saying the truth watchdog is doing a very good job of like showing some of these things, you know, and making them blunt. Making people aware, yeah. yeah. And it's very blunt, you know. This is not true, this is not true, this is true, this is... Like, it's... Actually, the channel describes what he's doing, which is perfect. But is he helping? Yeah, yeah. Really, you might say that. I know uh, f- for a fact he's helping because if you go watch, have you watched his content? Yeah, I've watched a couple of shows. If you go watch what he's talking about, the different traders who are not doing this right thing, going to forcing some houses which are not there saying they've bought it going through buying cars and having this number plates which are not even theirs hiring cars and saying it's theirs because of forex i think that one is bringing light to the people to understand that he's sort of trying cause at the end of each video he tries and tells you look if you hear someone talking about signals go away if you hear someone talking about robots go away If you hear someone saying um I can teach you in two weeks to become a profitable trader go away he's just outlining he's he's showcasing and then outlining what he goes online and shows people who are trading demo saying they've traded live and how they made money and how they've gone to spend it bought cars travel so he's sort of trying to clear that air of showing you a demo account is different from a real account people don't know they'll see money and think okay yeah, this is true lifestyle yake matches it and they they don't know how to piece in the two together so he's doing a very good job of making people aware and stopping them from falling for that trap now that's how we differ uh-huh okay uh-huh. everything you've said up to where you've gotten i agree with you fully uh-huh. in that he's informing people on the right practices and on the wrong practices in fact he's doing a tremendous exceptional job of doing that okay my argument though is how the human mind is structured that thing is not going to help it's not a lack of information that is making people fall for these scams it's the lure and promise of easy and quick money which is very attractive to a normal average person mm-hmm. and as much as you try to show them some things you see it's like social media people know staying on social media for 5 6 8 hours is bad but people are not able to stop from being on that platform right mm-hmm. people also know easy money does not exist but somehow people still fall for those traps true right mm. so as much as it's not a lack of information that is causing these problems you get mm-hmm. it's not a lack of you us we've designed podcasts we have multiple episodes where we're talking about you can't make it quickly you can't the right way to approach your videos have a thousand two thousand views the guys you're talking about their videos have 30 40,000 views there's something clearly there the human mind the way it's designed it's designed to fall for those things and the majority of the people will fall for those things regardless of the right information and the right practices mm-hmm. that's Imagine. just my argument uh <coughs> the argument makes sense yes but uh it is not his job to make you not fall for it is his perfect. job to make you know perfect you if we get to that that's the same perfect. same way the same same way perfect. it is not our job to make someone a profitable trader we will teach them the right practices it's up to them it is up to them But my point was my point was actually mm-hmm. not that he's not doing a good job. Mm-hmm. My point was 
the reason these things are taking place is not a lack of information and these things will not stop as much as we spread the right information that's my point yes yes i'm not that's trying to say that what he's it, doing it is not it. valuable mm-hmm. don't get me wrong it's very valuable in fact it will save one or two people but my point is the way the industry is structured and i've thought about this for so long the way the industry is structured some things you try to fight again it's like one of the things that i can clearly use as an example is i'm sure this is okay let me use this perfect example that has come to my head if right now you go somewhere to a stranger a random person you know a random person you meet them you tell them you're doing forex trading they don't know you but they label you somehow okay mm-hmm. they 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 associate that with some things not really good things mm-hmm. they associate that with probably someone who thinks he can make easy money quick money fast money you know they ask you where is your big car mm-hmm. they've <laughs> labeled you they've labeled you right they have a preconceived notion about what this is right now my argument is that will not change mm-hmm. regardless of us doing the right thing that will not change the preconceived notion that people have around some certain things is very hard to change mm-hmm. and if you look at what is happening even like you're saying go to spain you'll find scams from forex brokers go to asia you find scams they still existed they still exist go in li- online you'll find someone you listen to them they know nothing about the market but they have a lamborghini and they have 100,000 people following mm-hmm. okay and we fall for those us ourselves when we started didn't we fall for those scams mm-hmm. we did right like there's just something about the way the industry is structured that i think even gets people you know like <laughs> remember when we met like um like when we met like we've actually met two or three very developed traders very wealthy and both of them said ah mimi hata siambiangi watu nafanyanga nini i'm just anonymous you know i just do my thing i make my money like we you remember that friend of yours like who made like 40000 dollars in a day like he's anonymous he doesn't care about what is going on in the industry it's not that he doesn't hurt him it's i'm sure the more time you spend in the industry the more you feel like there's just some element around the way the structure is created which makes it hard to eliminate some things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cuz I'd argue right now I'd argue that if you were to tell some people that some things are wrong but you tell them you know it's like the way you're saying someone who's ignorant I'm ignorant I don't know the truth. Right? So I'm ignorant. So if I if you come and Lavi tells me hey, listen uh this thing is going to take you 4 5 6 years you know and I come to you and you tell me yo listen this thing is going to take you 3 months okay and you have lured me in with some external factors mm-hmm. <laughs> my mind will struggle to really believe love mm-hmm. it will struggle like i can need to be mm-hmm. a critical thinker mm-hmm. like i was listening to someone say you think so that your stupid ideas die before you die mm-hmm. you kill the idea first before you die right now most people are not able to kill the idea they end up dying fast then they they remember ah and by the way there was the option of saying no to a certain thing or yes to a particular thing but you are not able to do it mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so if you think about what is going on like we are doing a good job of trying to shout up um some of those guys but i think also we need to understand why these things are the way they are which is a good point you've said you've said one point of why yeah it's in, it's important but the beautiful thing at the end of the day is one it's an eternal battle we'll have to do for life mm-hmm. it's not that now the fact that, you know the the reason why it keeps continuing and recurring and never stopping is because different people are being scammed The beautiful thing about what you've said about the analogy Taras has told you 7 years Caleb has told you 3 months is that this person at that point now it's not a matter of ignorance it's a matter of the easy money mm-hmm. quick money the beautiful thing is this person will go through a process that will de- will need him to go back to Lavi the aha moment will click and be like okay this thing takes time yeah there's someone who told me the truth and that person who told me the truth now there's trust and credibility because of the and Jeomtu alipita. Unajeomtu same person let's say if he went straight to Taras. 
angesema hey lakini one year two years i'm still struggling iz that ulem say what three months labda he has a different strategy in his idea cuz trading is freaking hard you say this multiple multiple times sendio so sometimes it's like it's like you know this is just an analogy i'm thinking you're eating a healthy fruit but inside it ikona kambegumbaya okay so this person had to eat yo mbegumbaya that drew ah acha nrudu uko kwa lawi or let me go know how to look for good mbegus i mean good fruits okay you get he said it's rotten but he had to mm-hmm. taste the rotten one to know what's good you, you get your analogy exactly and that's w- what i'm saying the fact that he has to taste the rotten one means that the scammer will always exist the word is always that one and is I think, true i think uh, i think um ken's point or your argument is think we're on the same page on yeah we are on the yeah, same page more or less we've Caleb started by saying there were some even before the regulations exactly there are these which are now here and which now we have to talk about for today and there will be others yep. so we're not about change on just coming will end or it will we are now talk about what is happening in the current forex space hey guys so i interrupt this show to inform you that This coming Saturday on the 25th of November we are hosting another free class here at our FAB offices where we'll be talking about um how not to get scammed and we'll be teaching the new traders the newbies the new people into the forex industry what to look out for when you're looking for an educator someone to teach you what uh, even to give someone your money in order to trade what you need to look out for so this coming saturday we'll be talking about that taras is going to show you the insights the ins and outs what you need to look out for in order to reduce the risk in what uh endeavor you're entering to and not to lose your money at the end of the day so make sure to come here we have a free uh document down on the description where you can go so fill in the form below where you can get to book your seat and our team is going to contact you very soon so that we can inform you on the further steps before the class that is on Saturday so i can't wait to see you and let's continue the show now what pisses me off and what i'm tired and i'm sick of about hearing it is the people who are showing a crazy lifestyle online and luring people into the forex industry to help them and all that um unfortunately enough they're not traders mm-hmm. huh? these are thieves <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> say the truth is <laughs> the truth these are thieves mm-hmm. if you go look at what they're doing online why I'm so pissed is because they're using forex as a face to cover what is behind it's it's a sheep in wolf it's a, it's a it's a wolf in sheep's clothing i don't know how to say it's a sheep in wolf's clothing <laughs> it's, 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 it's a, a sheep, wolf, it's a wolf in sheep's, sheep's clothing yeah that one um what they're doing behind the scenes they're coming mbele to try and show a lifestyle which it's not been generated by forex so they're showing an easy and nice lifestyle which can be gained through forex but it's a very hard process actually it will be gained eventually yes. in the game like if you do it you live that lifestyle you're watching you're seeing online but the problem is i am pissed of seeing why p- this person one at a jetting the money in a good legal business to come and say forex sort of did it they're doing illegal business scamming people taking people's money from different countries even locally and then coming and saying it's forex going and hiring these cars and then showing a lifestyle and people now the problem is like what you're saying are being lured into that direction it's not the right way another unfortunate thing and I won't talk about many other brokers brokers are also some people who are pushing more Agenda. of this um sort of scams how by by promoting or pushing certain influencers certain traders who are certain people who call themselves traders to live or do something in a certain way so that they can bring people the main notion for a broker is what what's the main goal get clients deposit trade there's nothing akuna black or white it's 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 straight it's Volume bring people related. put money in the accounts trade bring people and it's repetitive whatever strategy you use they don't care if you can bring people that's what they do some of them do it rightly but most of them are promoting a certain lifestyle now 
it's like what if we'll speak frankly we sat with a couple of brokers and some brokers told us here we can fund your lifestyle we can tell you how to live how to not tell you how to live tell us how you want to live what did they tell you can yeah there were there were some guys we've met from especially from other countries not not specifically local yeah from other countries mostly uh, who've tried to pinpoint that you know you guys your youtube channel would have been way way bigger you would have been doing way more things you know you'll have way more clients if you just embraced this thing and we <laughs> have Which been shy thing? of uh, that lifestyle thing you know the showing of cars houses travel but we have been i personally wouldn't be comfortable in that skin to do some things i don't think that's why it's just a personality value factor thing and i also feel like once you know the truth why do you want to lie to people like if you know if you know like I know that the way I say trading is hard. Right? Very hard. It's a hard way to make easy money. Could easily say that. True. I'll conclude it that way. Now if something is a hard way to make easy money and I know the experience, I feel like anyone who lies about trading is someone who doesn't trade. Just like you say, doesn't trade. Yeah, they don't trade. They don't understand what it means to wake up, do your analysis, record take a trade have a loss do that multiple times over having and over. multiple losses still keep on the game for the first probably a year two three get to a point where you're breaking even and then moved i don't think anyone who's gone through that cycle is willing to go and share false information true and i feel like that's one of the reasons why i personally just can't fall for that category yeah. true love mm. for me personally the current uh, space uh <laughs> there's a lot from as you said from different uh levels from you know there are incompetent trainers incompetent trainers okay okay um or courses you see uh someone like shasha gang probably buys uh a course from you then you don't deliver the value you see true you don't you know you don't know how to follow up on this person um this person continues struggling with the same same problems even probably worse than he met you uh that is one thing that i see every day out here i think when you were starting out competition was pretty pretty uh, less in terms of academies training forex uh but i know i see every day a new one mushrooms i see uh and for us even if you remember we 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 had a lot of requests before we opened our office see and that was one thing that really pushed us to open actually an office because we wanted to make something credible than training someone at java you see training someone at a at a rented hotel rented a boardroom train them in two days you tell yeah, them, tell them in two days. you can open an account and start trading in two weeks uh, you pay 400 dollars uh, it's about 70,000 right now uh someone tells you 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 will you will win and again as you're saying um, in two weeks mm, in two weeks there are some courses i've seen here for and they weeks. give you an exam yeah give you an exam <laughs> pray to god <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually there is a prayer to god <laughs> is a god who comes in your head yeah every should the world the best nika ku baptize you yes there is a prayer <laughs> for your first train yeah, yeah. exams they yeah, pass exams they read it yeah. they clap <laughs> they pray yeah. then that god is. will make god will work one god <laughs> will make a way it's <laughs> <laughs> not god like helps that. those who help themselves guys don't I work uh, you know as bana so mm. um you know there are many ways of learning trading and i didn't say fab is the best or you know in fact the best is practically going exactly. through those experiences mm. you know go for That's such a best program way of pray no pray pound goes up <laughs> see if it will go or <laughs> pray it goes down see so, if it um, will go mm. For me it's the like the academia part of trading is not well developed and it's what's making a lot of people again ignorant mm-hmm. because the knowledge out here is the get rich quick scheme. Ken said my video of how to make 2 to 3% consistently will get 500 views. The other one for how quick quick mining 40,000 from 10 dollars yeah, to actually so 1 dollar to 3800 dollars <laughs> <laughs> that 
I'm we're just gonna, we're just not gonna you, mention names. On one dollar, how, how do you even take a trade? On a 0.01, the minimum you can't, is, you can't. It can't even. Yeah, can't you can't even. leverage your yeah, so, um, thousand. Yeah, thousand. thousand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That is on the academia part of uh, tra- uh, training people uh, about markets. And then again, I believe there's the right path of learning how to trade. And that is why I feel, again, we didn't really get to work with um, most CFDs brokers because uh, for them, they want us. Someone comes to learn at FAB. The first day, deposits. A fungo account. Open and deposit. You see? Uh, we believe there's the right stages of learning how to trade other than going through the jungle. As Shasha, you had a podcast earlier and um, he said that uh, you can easily... Um, Basically, you can uh, you can spend a lot of money or lose a lot of money before you find the right person to just show you the right way. Basically, it's you're wasting the three main elements that make someone really move: time, money, and energy. You know, I, I remember Shasha said uh, he lost money on a gold trade, but there was a lesson learned. He knew I didn't calculate my pips well, but you know, there's a loss <laughs> that you don't know again what happened. <laughs> Is or it? a profit even. Yeah, hey, or a profit even that you don't know what happened. Um, so I believe like traders should really look at, and you know, this is again his personal uh, initiative. I th- I feel like there is uh, the internet, yes, there are good things, there are bad things. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, the bad things will will come to you. The bad things which look good will come to you mm-hmm. more than the good things which look bad. So the thing, so, you know, two years at Taras, look uh, bad than three months at Caleb. Um, <coughs> so for me, I believe there is a lot of people not, again, training the right way. Of course, we are very open for competition. We are very open for uh, wherever where someone wants to learn from. Even for us, we always tell someone, you don't really have to come learn from us. Um, you can learn from us even for free. This podcast will help you. You know, We have a free ebook. Uh, we do offer free classes. So uh, we do for free webinars. So there's a lot to learn. Uh, just are you willing to learn? That is the question first. And you'll realize it comes down to actually people don't like the academia part of trading. They like the financial part of it. It's like you want to go and start earning from medicine before you go to medicine school. And I'd argue mm-hmm. just to what you're saying. Not even argue, but it's a fact. If you look at some of the best, best of the best. Mm-hmm. They don't want even to be known or remembered as traders or financiers. Those people are researchers and intellectuals. Mm-hmm. Look at a guy like Warren Buffett. Read six hours, seven hours a day. Look at Soros. Mm-hmm. He's written books. He even says his goal was to be a philosopher, not to be a trader. trader. Look at Ray Dalio. His strength is research. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? If you look at people who have done well in trading, them for them now they're not interested in the other side. <laughs> they're yeah. not interested in the money part. They're interested in how do these things work. Because markets is a complex game. Solving that puzzle. That's why there's, there's, I, I feel like if there's an industry which books have been written, it's ours. It's finance. <laughs> hey, finance and economics. <laughs> I think we or maybe I'm subjective because I read a lot of those books, but I see them a lot. Like I even wonder and ask and all these books. To just try and understand this market. <laughs> <laughs> hey, even for me, I'm always amazed <laughs> by. So for me, I believe um, there should be more structured way of people learning how to trade, uh, and of course, these things will come up again. Like there was no regulation. Probably regulations will come, and you know, regulations will filter out people. Like how money managers before that were everywhere. But right now, it's back. Yeah. What is back? The money manager aspect without qualifications. If you think about it, the three of us have been trading for eight years. Yeah. We were told about copy trading about six, seven, eight months ago. Yeah. None of us has been in a rush to open them. Yeah. Like you're not in a rush. See, Jona, Mtuaki struggle sana and afakwa on the plan. No. Right? You're not even you know that opportunity exists, but you're <coughs> planning yourself to go into it. Mm-hmm. Properly. Properly. You think if that happened Take yourself back years, years back. If that opportunity was there mm. and near into your trading, 
by now you'll have raised more than <laughs> four five million from people telling them how you're going to make for them returns and you don't even know how you're going to make them i'm guaranteed that they'll lose it yeah. thank you not only you don't you know, know but you're guaranteed you're going to lose it and that's what copy trading has done mm. it's been brought in as an element of again helping traders and purifying the industry but again with our industry shortcuts what we are seeing on those platforms is also incompetent traders jumping on the platform raising money from people not even educating the guy who you have raised money from or no, what he has invested in you lose the money the guy says even this copy trading thing bullshit mm-hmm. well copy trading in itself can give you passive income mm-hmm. right like how it's designed yeah. is it it can give you passive income but for it to give you passive income you must have a competent person as the master account yes as long as that is not the mix yes things won't flow true and guys as we're going into copy trading what ken is talking about um personally here at financial hub we believe even if you do not become a trader and I'm telling my students yesterday as they were finishing off you can become an investor you can invest in the financial markets you can invest in ken you can copy uh, now copying don't get me wrong we do not mean copy by signals and copy tariffs and trades some people might confuse the two by copy trading we mean is this a new word in town the new uh, how people can trade about can trade in the forex market by following a what can we call a what strategy manager uh a credit strategy provider strategy, a strategy provider. provider who's you can see the returns and take the trades so what to tell students even if you don't become a trader go through our course come take our master class course go through it have financial financial investor um, knowledge um wisdom so that when someone is telling you about different ways to invest how to trade the forex market returns that are possible in the forex market if you've gone through our our two month course of the master class you'll understand a lot you'll know the lingo of scammers you'll know the lingo of good traders you'll know the lingo of people who have been in the industry for some time one thing like like saying Traders who have been in the industry a lot talk more of percentage. We never talk of money terms. We don't talk about how much I made because it's always a matter of time for you to increase your capital. So profitable traders talk in percentage term. If Taras made 10%, I made 10%, we've more or less made the same return. I don't care what account he has. We've put in the same effort, the same time. It's just different accounts, okay? Um, including other things that will teach you like risk adjusted return. All that is in the course. On top of that, we have another course where we teach you what you call prop forms and we've talked about this in our different podcasts, but the uh product launch is called project effects where we teach you how to get funded by prop firms international accounts that give you access to bigger capital than you can have access to at a retail level so we have a crash course which is a 3 day course we teach you about that and we can help you understand how to build a strategy a strategy that is profitable with good risk management and good psychology in order to pass the prop firms on top of that we have our course book um the forex template of understanding the forex market it's also very important for beginner traders even on going traders read more read widely um um before you become a leader you need to be a reader okay so read a lot and understand the industry you're getting into and last but not least our psychologist just launched her new product where she's giving her first evaluation um psychology evaluation for free to you traders so that you can come and understand your own psychology we're trying to professionalize the industry and psychology is a very big part of trading um success in the financial markets so come book your uh, session with her have a free induction free evaluation for about 30 40 minutes to 1 hour and understand your own psychology and how we can help you moving further with that said let's continue taras Uh, okay so uh for me i think uh still going back to the point of um lifestyle and still linking it again to what you said i had another point but uh i also really hate the fact that uh the people who should be providing this financial education uh who are actually regulated uh in who the did? right way the brokers the brokers yeah uh-huh. they should be offering it in the right way they tend to offer them uh but still the fact that they are influencing in the wrong way so mm-hmm. the influence is in the wrong way because uh they are using trading influencers um not influencers but influencers out here to um because they have a following you find someone has a 300k following on on social media, on social media. 
they pay this person let's say 5000 6000 every month uh this person will splurge life and um as this person is doing it if you listen to the narrative i think everyone here is on tiktok and i think uh most of you if you're there you can i think it's always there the narrative there is always about you know um either lifestyle or truth wash dog shaming them again uh so uh, then these people now it's always about deposit to my uh, deposit using this link i will give you trades you see that is uh one thing on the on the on the broker side that i really don't uh vibe with it uh then the next is this goes back now to sort of how trading should be done in the, uh from a risk perspective now um you know the reason why a broker will tell you to deposit five, $5 and you can trade is because of leverage you see mm. we are being allowed even some brokers have infinite <laughs> leverage leverage you can okay. leverage gain to a million a million you have a, a dollar you can grow it to a million and uh probably of course you can start there it might be probably a first account and it hooks you and probably you can develop yes uh doesn't mean that if you start with a five dollar account and you blow it your journey is ended but for you as an entity which should be promoting the right thing are you not seeing something a miss a miss are you like is that what you want your reputation to be uh and again i feel like that is what brings down the whole uh industry oh. the success rate not even success rate but um longevity and success rate of traders i think we've talked with a couple of brokers it's about 96% for some 89% for some that of course of course doesn't mean that uh it gets pretty uh, much much low i think it gets much lower to about 60% institutionally so even 60% of institutional traders will still lose money so still even with the right mentor the right it's all about um it's all about you so uh the success rate i feel like is really really down again because you know this account will come someone blows a $5 account it goes into the statistics and someone else blows it goes into the statistics so i feel like um oh i get your point so the brokers themselves are making even the statistics be worse exactly by promoting guys start with a $1 account mm-hmm. and if they lose it's part of the statistics that most people lose yeah most people but lose money but their status yeah. even wrong exactly so i feel like trading you can really improve your probabilities of um being successful in the markets by having sort of the right education on how this thing works like from how forex is being promoted i feel like it's being promoted like it's a you know i think you've seen these casinos at some <laughs> local areas coins in a talk come and down exactly like it's just something you come and by luck you can make and actually by luck some people take the coins get and go <laughs> true, true. You see? but i feel like from even a regulator's point of view there should be how this thing is promoted there's still a lot to be done there's still a lot to be done in terms of promotion in terms of leverage as i said in terms of copy trading as ken said like everyone in their own sectors trainers have their problem brokers have their problem everyone like everyone is burning somewhere you see mm. the the non traders pretending to be traders are they're in another section so i feel like we're in a really dark place in terms of again even credibility of the industry you see this has can said so the people like um probably 5 10 years ago if you had, if you ask someone about trading either they didn't know it was not there actually it was there but people didn't know but right now just mention forex everyone knows everyone knows it, and knows it's, it's not true. really a good thing you see so i feel like it might easily get worse you see from bad to when worse. we were starting tiktok tiktok was not there you see yeah. some platforms will come again which will again probably make the ripple effect even worse you see this comes jump on them so uh for me i really believe uh 
we are at the state where we are at because people don't want to invest in themselves in invest in their education uh time and as we said it's hard to change that it has been there for millennials of years uh so it will be difficult to do that but again right now i feel like access to the right information again is easy if you try to look for it mm. so um probably when we were starting out we didn't have even an fab mm. right we didn't even probably me i knew a friend who was trading but he was not uh, uh willing to spend time to teach, teach. me this thing uh right now they are there so um i feel like it's for the person wanting to make money to educate himself first before trying to look for money so education on just how the financial markets work uh what returns are made in the markets you don't even have to understand like technical analysis just do a small basic background of invest investment vehicles <laughs> bonds will offer right now i think the highest about 17 real estate will offer 12 uh stock markets the s&p 500 does average 12 over 100 years then you you want just that small but what returns comes from the markets just ask chat, chat gpt that <laughs> <laughs> knowledge bare minimum bare minimum just typing mm. you can easily know what returns like even just uh, google it some of the best returns from the best traders you'll find jim simon at the top with 65% uh-huh. and that is a billionaire offering 65 uh-huh. then a team of scientists mathematicians <laughs> yeah. phd's physicists theorists they are delivering 60 you're in your bedroom alone with a chart yeah. no data 100. to double hey, how so. much do people pay for bloomberg <laughs> terminal hey, so. just to get data Exactly but you know as we all said again um there are those people who will fall for it eventually still come rain come sunshine they will still fall for it but um i feel like again if you can save one or two people you've done your part you've done your part if you've shared the information you've done your part as i saying to so akimaliza to your video that was his part if you went and deposited Shauri how does he know that you deposited again he's not even that to help you. <laughs> Exactly. So for me I feel like the current state of the market is there because I think people are just lazy, you know. And uh again, I think the state of the economy is tough. <laughs> Everyone is trying to, you know, look for a way out. Look for a way out. And the easiest way is, you know, uh something x, something fx, something fx, something fx. So uh for me personally I'm There's nothing much I can do apart from you know doing what I always do. Uh you know I, I will shoot my podcast, I'll train my people who come. Uh but it's for you the person watching, the person trying to get scammed to, you know. Educate yourself first on what you're getting into. You just can't get into a new industry now again. Yeah. And just believe the word of mouth. See? You've learned the hard way. Uh, even in business, someone tell us this is business we want to do can triple yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yo me i look at the down things like what can go wrong in this deal not what can go good mm. first of all is what can go wrong mm-hmm. so it's 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 sad that most people don't think like that or uh you really have to learn the hard way cuz not to say that we were not in that space we were there me and ken paid for signals from a uk guy in 2016 <laughs> You never got any money again. Exactly. So it's again you really learn a lot you from didn't you didn't even know? learn. You learn from your ignorance. Just <laughs> yeah. money. So um I think just to finalize on my side it's yeah those things I mentioned um lack of credibility in you know how you train people lack of credibility in uh lack of uh, not really lack of but uh bad promotion of the industry and uh it's not bad to attract people into trading but attract them with the right mindset you see Attra- mm-hmm. attract them and give them the right information don't attract someone and tell them to it you, you better not attract that person because what you are bringing this person into it's more than rocket science 
<laughs> you imagine trying to bring someone into market scan and not giving him the right dictionary. That's why uh, if you think about it, if majority of the people really understood what trading is, guys wouldn't even be attracted yeah, to it. as much as there's a lot of money to be made. Like you wouldn't be attracted. Like I remember there's a very close person who normally tells me, as much as this thing can make you a lot of money, I think the struggle I see you go through. Mataki. Mistake your stuff. Like mistake my shangu ku ivo. So as much as is money that you can make, mm. hey, the send up hill is not something that I'd want to go through. To do. Yeah, yeah. And even realizing now that as you go higher it becomes even more difficult, you see. At a retail level you don't deal with CMA. At a money manager's level every month you're reporting to CMA. Yeah, but they're trading a billion dollars, trading a hundred million, the struggle is still the same. The emotional and struggle even more. is the same. So it doesn't change. It's a stressful industry by itself. Very very stressful. One of the most stressful industries actually out there. Other than Olympics, athletics, I don't think there's anything else other than also business. I think is quite hard. But majority of the things that are valuable are hard. So do whatever you can with that information. I'm just going to chat GPT and ask it and it's funny that a robot can give you these answers. What are the characteristics of a forex scammer? <laughs> Number one, unrealistic promises. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Scammers often make high and guaranteed <laughs> returns guaranteed. with little risk. or no risk. Little, <laughs> no risk. High <laughs> return, no risk. No transparency. Scammers may lack transparency in the operations. Okay, and solici- solicited contact. Be, con- be cautious of those unsolicited emails, phone calls, messages. Mm-hmm. Refusal of withdrawals. Scammers may make it difficult for individuals to withdraw their funds or delay the process. Okay? Lack of education and support. Scammers may not provide adequate education resources or customer support. No physical address. <laughs> Be cautious of a, of the broker platform does not that does not have a physical address. Okay? Fake reviews. Scammers may create fake positive reviews. Now that is social media. Yep. what you see those cars those lifestyle these are fake reviews and all that to create false sense of legitimacy and last but not least over emphasis on automations some scammers may promote automated trading systems claiming to eliminate the need of individual decision making okay actually that was one thing i was to add on mm. robots have come again and you know making people now i don't even need to Take your signal. Aweka <laughs> tu. It's automated. Robot inaunda. <laughs> yeah, guys. And the last point that ChatGPT shared with us is over emphasis on automation. Some scams promote automated trading systems, claiming to eliminate the need for individual decision making. So that's true. So so that's pretty much it. And if you see people talking about robots, what Taras was talking about, that direction if someone is selling you a robot why why are they selling you something that they can share with their own family members and their own <laughs> <laughs> and become rich share with them not even sell to them share with them. <laughs> <laughs> cousins brothers nephew <laughs> share with them and improve and become rich as the whatever family so mm-hmm. Think about those things. Chat GPT, Tarasa said, information is out there. It's there galore. And um, I'll still do it again. And I'll say shout out to Truth Watchdog. He's saying the right thing. What he's saying, follow those steps. Avoid those things. L- look in between the lines. Usukue fooled. Don't be easily persuaded just because you're seeing a certain lifestyle. Trading works in a different way. Come to the right people. Let us show you the proper way of doing it. And trust you me, if you really want to do this, it is hard. Will not lie to you, but it's very possible, and it takes time. And we can teach you those ways of how to become a consistent and profitable trader in the end. So that's it from me. So yeah, guys, we finally come to the end of the show, and I think the parting shot would be: avoid those people, avoid them <laughs> completely. Uh, you see, you put in some situations which you don't understand, only because you didn't listen in or just get informed. Like just get informed. That's it. Don't make decisions without information. We all make informed decisions for us to make proper decisions. So that's our parting shot. For the guys who are doing it, keep looking for your bread. We understand you, man. The world is a tough place. So do what you have to do. (laughs) 
<laughs> no, Finally, don't, uh, do, don't do it. We are coming for you. <laughs> we are coming for you. Siku za mwezi ni 40. For me I'll just say about it again. Invest in educating yourself. Knowledge is free out here. Uh, and again, forget quick money. There is money to be made in trading. You can say it's the hard way to make easy money. So learn the hard way, then you'll make easy money. See you on the other side. Peace.